Could Albuquerque combat homelessness with gift cards? One law enforcement officer thinks so. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Laura Terrain explains how this program will use plastic to try and get people off the streets. Pick up. When police are called to help a disruptive or unruly homeless person, there are only a few places an officer can take them. You can either take them to the hospital if they meet that criteria, or they end up unfortunately incarcerated. But now police have a new tool. Officer Matt Tinney's co founded Helping Hands with psychiatrist Dr. Niels Rosenbaum. The program, funded entirely by donations, hands out prepaid credit cards to Albuquerque police supervisors so the homeless can check into a hotel room at any time, day or night, at no cost to taxpayers. Certain programs in the city provide uh, hotel vouchers, but those are only available during daytime hours. We can provide you with, with a room and board for one night. And then that way, officers can then follow up and send off your information to follow up services through the Albuquerque Police Department or other nonprofit organizations that are in the community. Helping Hands is also handing out Walmart gift cards to as many APD officers and Bernalillo County deputies as possible. These cards are loaded with $10, money that can buy bread or peanut butter or what Tinney tells me most homeless people request new socks. It may not sound like much, but as someone trained in crisis intervention, Tinney says the offer of a few bucks or the promise of a night in a warm bed can help keep tense situations from boiling over. Because if we can at least try to stop the crisis, then we can prevent hopefully the, the tragedies that come down the line. Plus, he says this speaks to the core values of what police do. You know, officers in general truly want to become law enforcement to help people. Now, this idea was years in the making, but it was just three months ago the Department of Justice investigation found the Albuquerque Police Department needs to change the way it interacts with the mentally ill and homeless. If you're interested in donating to the program, go to KOAT.com and click on As Seen on 7.